back once more to Channel 4, 20 News. My name is Richard Johnson, here with my cohort, Dick Rod. And we are here to talk to you about something that can only be described as come with me and you'll see a world of pure image of bullshit. It was bullshit and only bullshit. We feel so sorry for the kids in Glasgow, Scotland, whose parents also had to pay £35 to go into Willie's Chocolate Experience, an entire extravaganza cashing in on the Timothy Shalalalalalalalala Willy Wonka movie, which was making pretty decent. It was good. But anyway, this entire event was constructed by AI, the entire script, the advertising, the everything from the House of Illuminati. It's already a bad sign if you ask me. Well. And well, we have the pictures popping up here to show. This, 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 this was a nightmare. Are you People... sure that's not a meth lab? Nope. That, yeah, that, that, that poor Oompa Loompa working a meth lab was making a single jelly bean to give to these kids who were terrified out of their brains. So Richard, I have a question. Uh, yes, what is it? Where's the chocolate? There was no chocolate. Am <laughs> I? Yes, there was no chocolate at all. The script was done by AI and made up this entire villain named The Unknown, who was an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. No, he didn't. Right. But uh, what is the unknown? I do not understand. He looks what? like a Death Eater from Harry Potter. Where is the creative? Well, you see, I actually had a sit-down interview with the unknown. Oh my. What makes your chocolate evil? It's quite simple, you see. There's a bunch of buckets in the walls that form a contraption in order to make these different chocolates. The real question is how I formulate the taste of this. And you add a little bit of peppermints because nobody likes chocolate mint chocolate chip. Oh my. What has Willy Wonka done to make you terrorize him? What hasn't he done? His everlasting songs in the morning. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. And that atrocious outfit. Those goggles are out of season. Are you responsible for the Oompa Loompa working in a meth lab? He lives in my mind rent free because I live in his walls rent free. How do you make chocolate in the walls? Well, obviously he's too selfish that he took the entire factory for himself. So what does he leave me? The insulation. That's why we came up with the forbidden cotton candy. Well, that entire experience traumatized me for a while. Um, w back to me and Dick Rod with the with, with the news. I, uh, I... <laughs> <sighs> well, we have an entity of evil that makes chocolate living inside the walls now. I am sorry, Dick. That that, that I I don't want chocolate cake anymore. I I. Well, we would certainly be having more chocolate than those kids did. I, I can't believe they gave a single jelly bean and a quarter cup of a lemonade. Why lemonade? I, I, why lemonade, of all things? Why a quarter cup of it? I know an expert who can solve this matter. John? Hello, everyone. This is Channel 420 News, and this is John Bowner said in. Apparently, Wendy's was, um... Gotta do something interesting. Wendy's, you know, not McDonald's, not, hell, and not even Burger King, not Taco Bell. Wendy's, the one restaurant that has a Twitter account that shits on every other restaurant, even though Wendy's fries taste like ass. Hell, I'd rather go to Burger King for those fries than Wendy's. Their burgers, it might be 100% real beef, but they stick that shit in the freezer for so long that it don't even have any flavor in it. That's what you're saying. The bacon. It's bacon? Huh? It, shit looks like you shrink wrapped it and sent it to a freaking astronaut and then tried to make me eat it. You mean to tell me that Wendy's was gonna try surge pricing? Basically, the concept is, uh, 
the price of the burger or the meal would be affected by how busy it is. Now, that's kind of bullshit because I'm not going to pay $99 for a goddamn Wendy's burger. Of course, some people might be like, well, they only, they only suggested the idea. They suggested it. They got comfortable enough to go, hmm, let's throw this idea out there and see what happens. I think surge pricing for Uber is a bunch of bullshit, though I do understand why they do it. When it comes to Wendy's, there is no fucking reason to be doing that shit because I know for a goddamn fact that none of that money is going to go to the fast food workers that make that shit happen. You're probably still going to pay those sons of bitches the minimum wage and then you're going to tell them they're a piece of shit for trying to demand even more. They're getting too comfortable with uh, saying, well, you know, maybe you should just have less. Maybe, maybe we should just price gouge everything. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an answer for this, but it, it involves taking the power away from these cunts and making this world ours again. Back to you guys. Well, I neither agree or disagree, but at least that uh, was shorter. <laughs> and now presenting the wonderful weather segment from Shay TD. No, yo. I'm back, baby! It's the fucking weather, man! Are you sure about that? And this video is sponsored by Prime. Yeah. If you like your kids having any kind of mental illness, buy Prime. Trust me, KSI said so. And today, we're going to be talking about the weather. You know that thing that comes out of the sky? We're going to be talking about it today. For once in my fucking life, we're going to be talking about Prime. The weather. Because it's primed up for me. Yeah, here we go. So, today we're gonna be talking about Thursday. I gotta talk to Wednesday Adams over here. Come here! Fuck you want! I wanna talk about the weather! What about the weather? I wanna talk about the weather and why it doesn't wanna fuck my mother! Cause your mother's a hoe! Get it together! <laughs> So that's the segment of the weather. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe, go to OnlyFans.com and look up Brad. I think my eardrums are broken, but thank you for telling us not the weather. I don't even know what's going on in today's episode anymore. Well, at least that was riveting. At least we did not spend 35 pounds to go into Dash Con 2, the Willy Wonka edition. You know what? <laughs> what was that? Dick, I think we have to run. I think the, the, the unknown has found us. Eight eight our, um, <laughs> thank you for tuning in to Channel 420 News. As always, thank you to John Bollison, and TV, and our intern, we still haven't paid yet, Oliver Stoner. I am Richard Johnson. I am Dick Rod. Eight we are going to run before we are turned into chocolate. We do not want to get Willy Wonka. As always, remember, subscribe to Zanderbell and praise it! And praise it! What's the unknown's real name?